y'all. I'm Rick Scott here, and I want to post a quick follow-up review of the Avion scales after using for several years. So, yeah, man. I mean, I'm not too fat, you know. I've, I've, uh, I eat whatever I want to and work out a lot, but on the weekends I just eat whatever I want to, and you know, during the week I try to be, uh, try to be healthy during the week. But these things are great because they pair with my phone and I'm able to see popular metrics like my weight and uh, muscle mass, BMI, all kinds of stats. So it's really cool being able to see all of that and track it. That's one of the coolest things in the app. I've got a historical view of my weight. So like I can watch my weight throughout the week and it goes down, you know, weekdays. And then the weekend it's like, Burr! and then the next week it's like down. But the thing I'm interested in is that even though I have the peaks and valleys, that I'm observing a downward trend over time. So for me at least, even eating whatever I want to and drinking whatever I want to on the weekends, even though I get a weekend spike over the long haul, looking at the charts, and that's one of the coolest things about Avion, looking at the historical charts, I can see a downward trend. So yeah, I'm losing weight, but I'm eating whatever I want to on the weekends and drinking whatever I want to on the weekends. But again, I do get a weekend spike from uh, from just eating and drinking whatever. But you know, during the week, I'm I'm really pushing it hard, so I'm driving the weight down during the week. So my my downward trend on weekdays is trumping my sharp upward trend on the weekends. So these things are great. Uh, basically, what I do, man, I I get up in the morning and and uh, take a shower and then and then get on these things, man. And I have my phone and and it tells me where I am. So these are great. Haven't had any problems pairing. I use it with an iPhone. Actually, I've used it with several different iPhones because since the time of purchasing these scales. Speaking of that, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find what order them online. But since purchasing these scales, I've used a variety of different iPhones, haven't had any problems with any of them. It just works. Super, super simple. As far as build quality is concerned, no issues there. Obviously, I've got it on the bathroom floor on a hard and flat surface. So if you're like me, you wanna see not only a real-time view of your weight and other popular metrics, but you also want to chart your progress or failures over time by looking at a chart, this is a great way to do it. No subscription, at least at this point in time, there's no subscription required to use it. And one thing that I like is how I can choose to uh, send this data to Apple Health on my iPhone. And then again, that's optional, that's just something I did, but I'm able to track all of, uh, all of my, what I feel are the important metrics and. You know, I can see if I'm if I'm uh, making progress or if I'm going the opposite direction. But for me, it works. Again, weekdays I lose, weekends I get a sharp upward trend. But over time, at least I'm going down with those peaks and valleys. So great scales, I recommend them. Again, expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order them online. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.